What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And on today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are hoping to take the Cozy Coop for a proper ride because we just got a big shipment from Go Power Sports with everything we're going to need to finish up the clutch, the brake, the accelerator, fuel tank, and all the other odds and ends so we can actually ride this thing more than just putting around the yard. They also sent along some other goodies like their brand new 225cc Tillotson racing engine. This thing is a racing engine right out of the box. It's it's like a Honda clone, except it is bored and stroked out uh, to make more displacement, and it makes like 17 horsepower right out of the box. So we're not gonna be fooling with those today, but I'm really looking forward to it. All right, dude, first things first, I've got to do something about these pedals. So I say we start with the brake and the clutch. Sounds good. All right. Of course, we thought about doing a hand clutch, but think about it, in a sticky situation, we're not gonna wanna take our hands off the wheel for anything. That's why we wanna keep the gas clutch brake either at our feet or somewhere where we can manage it right on the steering wheel. So with that being said, let's try a heel accelerator. That was horrible. There's that aircraft again. I think that's gonna be awesome. got to figure out the position for this right here for the pivot for the pedal all right so we know we're gonna mount the brackets off of our pedals for the clutch and the gas I made this little bracket here to take the four throttle cables into one and take it up to a bracket that I'm about to weld on to the gas pedal pivot. So let's get it done, man, so we can have clutch and we can have gas. And then someday, far in the future, we can think about brakes. Uh -huh. Today. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Here pretty good. Clutch. Dude, it's great. I like that a lot, man. Clutch. Letting out. Which you know we can shift without pressing the clutch. I like pressing in the clutch though. I cut me this little tab. I drilled a small hole in it cut a slot in it for the cable to go through and then I countersunk it with a bigger drill bit. Now we just need to set it up here, tack it. Cover it. Yeah. So I added some tacks to the ends of the brackets and then I just fed the cable on through so now it won't pop out. Let's see, that's idle. And full throttle on two, almost full throttle on three, three quarters on four. What? Yeah. So we're gonna need to stack some little tiny washers in here to get the, uh, get the carburetor synced. What's that? I think it's only running on two cylinders. Well, we do need to put some coils in it. Well, I have the ground hooked up. And ground is important. That is awesome. 
<laughs> it gets a little louder when you rev it up. Yep. All right. So, sounds like we still have carburetor problems. <laughs> well. What else is new? Well, she's also cold. So it might work better uh, warm. I know it's going to... It's going to like exhaust, with... too. Huh? It's going to like exhaust. I, hopefully it'll like exhaust. Um, I also think it needs the pods. Yep, some filters, so for sure. It needs the pods. It needs the mufflers on it. Not much for mufflers, but it's a two-in-the-one, so yeah. it might help scavenge. It sounded so, wicked, though. When it revs, yeah. it sounds pretty good. So this engine has a red line just under 10,000 RPM, and what do you say that was, 7,000? Yeah, but I bet it was about 7,000. 7,500, something like that. Uh, this thing sings. Of course, it's gonna like some pods on the carburetors, it's gonna like exhaust, and we have some new coils to throw at it too. So not running 100% perfectly, but we have everything already lined up, ready to go to install on this thing. So hopefully, knock on wood, everything will be worked out. So. Now we're gonna throw an exhaust tank at it. I said it again. What? Uh, we're gonna install a fuel tank, some brakes, and then it's party time. Oh, we have to fasten the steering down. <laughs> yeah. Starting on the brakes. All right. So what we're gonna install now is a disc brake kit from GoPowerSports.com. We have a disc, we have a caliper, and we have a bracket. The only concern we have right now is, is this going to be big enough? If it's not, I've got a great idea on using... I'm into it, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sprocket, just like what we have on the other side. This might be what we need for the extremely large tires we have on the cozy coop yes indeed yeah so you can check out all these parts in the link in the description and let them know cars and cameras sent you let's do it all right we're gonna have to swap that over gonna have to loosen it up too nice biscayne dude oh thanks buddy yeah, I've dude. had that for a long time. The only thing I want to do is take this linkage and put it down on the bottom. Sounds good. And then we're just going to do hard linkage to the heel. To a, the heel, heel pedal. Brake. Right. <laughs> Probably going to use one off of a motorcycle. I think I have one around somewhere. All right. I'm changing my mind on using this brake disc. It's great for go-karts, but I'm thinking that it, this is more weight, more speed. I think we need a bigger disc. So I believe we're gonna go with the uh, sprocket because it's really big. Yeah. We'll use the sprocket as the brake disc. Probably won't heat up as bad as that. Probably won't heat up as bad as the smaller one because the smaller one it, yeah, it's just going to heat up a lot faster. There's a, a lot bigger rotor using that, and, and the uh, brake, the heat will dissipate a little bit better than yeah. this one. I do like the vents in that rotor, though. Well, that will help with cooling, too. Yeah, it's just, we have a, a you know, we have probably 100 pounds over a regular go-kart on this thing. It, at least. And, and the very tall tires are going to be That's a problem, very true. too. If it was the short tires... This would be great if it was the short tires. Yeah. But since it's the tires have such a large diameter, we're going to have to go with a, a larger, larger diameter, uh, diameter rotor. Yeah. So, All right. Let's figure yeah. it out. All right.
So I lit my pants on fire. That's never happened before. Safety first, everybody. How we looking, dude? Pretty good, man. I think I'm happy with the, uh, with the pedals. So we have gas and brake. Or we can lift up with the, our toe for brake too, so options. I think it's awesome. Our throttle and brake setup seems to be working pretty well. Ike is gonna install our new ignition coils. I'm gonna work on the shifter. Then we're gonna go out for a proper test drive. All right, man, are you ready? Do I look like I'm ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, it looks good. It's so good. It looks <laughs> like a riot. Uh, you can tell it's pretty short wheelbase for how much power it has. It looks a little bit squirrely. It's a little squirrely. But... But manageable. Dude, yeah. I tore up my yard. You did tear up your yard. Yeah. So, how do the brakes work? You gotta stand on it. But they, they're there. They're there. That's good. Yeah. And the clutch, how does it feel? Great. Gas? great shifter <laughs> not so great uh it's slipping on the shaft again okay yeah sounds like it wasn't running a hundred percent so i think next time we're gonna fix the shifter and then also add those two mufflers we have we can add the mufflers yeah it won't be perfect still but it felt like it was running great oh really okay mm -hmm. 
It sounded a little poppy, but maybe that's just how these are. I don't know. Oh, no, they're poppy. Okay. First proper test drive on the Cozy Coop 550 went amazingly well. I'll be hopping on next time. I just didn't want to be too loud for too long out here. So next time, we're going to be adding two of these crusty. sweet and crusty side pipes. Ooh, just making a mess. Um, fixing the shifter, zip ties here and there, and then going out for a proper thrashing at Ike's place. Uh, anyway, until then, thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates on this build and our future projects as well. Uh, be sure to buy from our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com, if you're in the market for go-kart, mini bike, cozy coupe, hot rod, parts, anything like that, and uh, let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you. Of course, Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews in between videos for sneak peeks on what we're up to. And... Oh, check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm trying to think if I want to give them a montage of you caressing that, but I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them from it. We'll see you next time.